wrestling. Yeah, it's it's we're we're doing it again. Not that you guys will have noticed a gap, but as always, in between recording sessions of this show, there have been time. So, uh, if you want the spiel, it's in the ticker at the bottom now. Uh, I will say you can support us on Patreon and get episodes of this show, Journey of Wrestling, a week early. It's only five bucks. And also uh, makes you cool, like Rob and a guy from Ohio. Hell yeah. All right, let's run into it. Um, we had a lot of exciting things transpire last time. Uh, biggest thing being Vader's back. Uh, we completed one of our yearly goals, which, what what were our other goals? Done already. I think, I think that was the last one. Um... No, job goals. Here we go. No. No. Create a hero of Pure Lay, Raven, and Vampiro and make them main eventers. And I don't want to. Uh, did we accidentally put both of those guys in the flock? Wow, did we? <laughs> go check the flock. Did we do this on accident? Oh my god. But it's not... We didn't make a trio out of them, but like it has the GOG problem. But uh, because this exact same thing happened back with Gar with uh, Gold Major Grotesque, is we made it a faction, not a trio, so we didn't recognize it. But we literally just did this. Yeah, that's so. Um, uh, yeah, you want to just maybe uh, we, they haven't done anything yet. Let's just trio. This is uh, this is funny. Yeah, I didn't realize I read that and then realized did we did I think that's three people in the flock. <laughs> Uh, the flock. Is it going to let me do that because they're stable? It costs 20 bucks, but who cares? Faction with the name already exists. Maybe put so... a little parentheses trio. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, one of the exciting things that has happened is we have new segments. Yes, there's been updates. Yes. Uh... Most notably, the little custom... Is that a custom filter that we can do now? Yeah, we can do custom filters. I don't know... That's cool. Oh, no, that's it's a add custom a custom segment. segment. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, welcome people to the show. Now, we've had this for a while. I, I think maybe we only recently unlocked this, or maybe they reduced the qualifications to unlock it. I don't need to do that right now. Um, what is this? This is the sort order. That's we nice. can, That's new. Yeah, we can change that. Um, and there's a solo feud promo, indifferent promo for a neutral character. So um, they can actually do promos. Off-camera assault, backstage confrontation, split interview, stare down, fight tease, all kinds of cool shit. Yeah, all stuff that we can do now and also stuff that we can grind up and we don't have to go searching for like, do we do like an, uh, the fifth? Is, is it just three promo battles? No. No, they can do other stuff. Yeah. Also, uh, face turns and heel turns, I believe, in large part, if not entirely, are no longer dependent on the character being neutral or having a lot of very specific circumstances set No, up. They've, they've opened that up, which is good, because in wrestling, you very rarely see someone do, like, a long, multi-layered turn where they go from face to sort of a neutral in-between character for several months before eventually turning heel and adopting the pedigree as their finisher. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. Um, so yeah, the feuds we have on... Wow, we've got a lot actually. On Raw are uh, Raven versus John Tenta. This is going to be wrapping up soon, I imagine. This pay-per-view, yeah. Yeah, uh, Chris Jericho versus Kurt Angle, which just got started. Uh, Dan Severn versus Roshi Tanahashi, I imagine will also wrap up soon. Jushin Liger versus Sable. Sable really wants Liger to be attracted to her. We have no idea what her end goal there is. Sable was upset Liger wasn't attracted to her, and now it's yeah, just, now it's just now she's house just mode. mad. Yeah. <laughs> um, got a disrespect feud between Owen Hart and the Godfather. Uh, Owen Hart ribbed Godfather. Godfather took it real personal, like. And uh, Mick Foley and Eddie Guerrero. Um, Eddie's mad at Mick, like. He just, yeah, just just mad. He was mad. He needed to be mad at someone, and he picked Mick. Yeah, we've actually got most of everything set up uh, for this for yeah. this show already. Um, I don't believe we have any new roster members. Well, there is the return of Vader. There's the return of Vader, and there is also we got to have something for our brand spanking new heel champion to do. Uh, well, yeah, he's in a feud with Kurt Angle. Yeah. Um, I think Vader might be on SmackDown or uh, Thunder. It's called Thunder. It's called Thunder. I don't have the <laughs> document up. I'm so sorry. There it is. Giant text. It's called Thunder. Y'all can't see it, but I can. 
Um, okay, so. Uh, you know, I've been wanting to do more champion coronation things. We could probably do one of those with uh, Jericho. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know that it would push the feud any, but... Um, I It's cool, and I like it. Yeah. All right. Chan no, 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 no. Wrong place to type. Chris. Jericho. Okay. And, uh... Title. Champion Coronation. Fantastic. Book it. Those are fun. They need ground up a bit. And it's very good heal shit. Yeah. Um... Now, if we have time to do more shit for their feud, which we've got 11 slots, I'm sure we can we, will. we can use one of the new things to... Because these guys are over Oh, fun. yeah, let's use one of the new things. Um, Maybe let's, fight tease? We don't even need to do that. Kurt Angle. Uh, what was it? Feud promo? Solo, Solo feud, feud promo. promo. Yeah, here we go. Feud present. Chris Jericho. That's my shot. Booked. Perfect. Shit, so good. It's so good. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, the biggest problem with, um, I guess not doing this every week, uh, would be the only other way to do it, is that we forget what matches we've booked. Have we already done Owen Hart and Jushin Liger versus Sable and Godfather? Did we do it like the pay-per-view? Um, I think maybe that, that would have made sense to be... Actually, let's check what the pay-per-view was. Because uh, we keep pay-per-view. Oh, yeah, levels. that's right. We do keep those records. Uh, no, no, we had those separate. All right. Uh, then that's a good match to have happen. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, let's see. Tag team match. 2v2. Owen Hart. Uh, Jushin Liger. Sable. Godfather. And, I mean, it makes sense because both uh, Sable and the Godfather lost the pay-per-view, so... They yeah, maybe get them a win here, yeah. yeah. yeah with, their, with their superior team tactics or cheating, whatever. <sighs> um, okay. Or insane violence, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Whatever's good. It's all good. We're all good here. All right, um, so... Let's get our next feud here. All right, um... Messing around in the book. Uh, other feuds we have is the Raven versus John Tenta feud. Oh, we have notes. Not your place. I think that's on uh, Thunder. Yeah. Um, what do we want to do, Raven versus John Tenta? So I want Raven to cut. Raven beat John Tenta, and obviously we can't have John Tenta beat him back for the title. No. But if we're gonna build to a to a pay per view match. I say we build to, like, a feud blow-off that isn't necessarily related to that. John Tenda doesn't have to have, like, a get-his-win-back 50-50 booking. He's always very happy to lose to younger talent. He, like, that's literally one of his traits. Right. So, we could have another title match where he loses again. We could have, like, a like, like a grudge match. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking, like, Raven comes out and is like, now I'm your European champion, but that's not good enough. I want this trash gone. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, so probably let's do a segment here. Um, uh, feud segments. Oh, wow. Two to four participants in fights and promo battles. Oh, finally. We can finally have like three-way promo battles and stuff. That's nice. Uh, we got fight tees. We got stare down. The closest we could come to that before was game theory. I know, right? That's so exciting. Standing tall. Tents pull apart. Um... After match save is actually a thing now. Yeah, and after match attack. I, this oh, is so exciting. Mm, mm, uh, this is all good. All real good. Uh, backstage confrontation. A split interview. <laughs> and now it's time for, for the, the main, main event. event. Uh, um, I'm thinking desecrate grave. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Oh, man. Uh. Jeez, that's really good. Well, we haven't done smack talk with them. Yeah, go for it. Like yeah. this is this is a simple one. Yeah, it doesn't need to be complicated. Cool. We got all these new toys, and I I want to play with them oh, too. Oh hell but... yeah, hell yeah. Uh, okay, then we've got uh, Dan Sep. Also, our heat is on because it's finally gotten cold enough that we can't turn it off for the show. So you're gonna have to deal with that. If Sorry. you hear any weird interference, that's what that is. Uh, we've got Dan Severn versus Hiroshi, Ta Hiroshi Tanahashi. 
Uh, um, I think... And then Mick Foley versus Eddie Guerrero, and those were our current feuds. Did Dan win at the pay-per-view? Uh, let's see. Tanahashi beat Dan Severn. I, I promised I would color code these at the end of the last uh, episode, and I definitely did not do that. All right. Uh, so then Dan's not going to be pleased. Right. Uh, could this be a wrestling match, or do we want to make this like a like one of our new toys? Because it's it's relatively over. Um. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Uh, well, what kind of promos do we have here? Um, let me click on the feud. Feud. Let's see. Split interview. We could play with that. Uh, off camera assault. Where it just cuts into Dan Severn having already beaten the shit out of Hiroshi Tanahashi and walking away. I like that even better. Let's run that one. I don't know if we get to choose who wins that one or not, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, as we always say, let's get some wrestling on the wrestling show. Uh, Eddie Guerrero and Mick Foley. Um, how did that go at the pay-per-view? Eddie beat Mick. Yeah. So... I believe that's where we used our uh, gimmick match, was it? Or was it the... Yeah. I f or no, was it? It... Hmm, no, I don't remember. Me neither, oh well. Whatever. Um... <sighs> thinking here. Let's see who else is on the card while I stew on that for a moment. Um, we've got Vampiro and Pierre Houlet. They should probably show off how cool they are. Yeah, they're in a tag team. Yeah. Um, let's let's see what they who they can fight. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna set that up right. We'll figure it out. Um, I'd say just do it manually to make sure it does. Yeah, it right. that's fair. Uh, Vampiro, Vampiro Pierre Lay. I mean, like, so is the feud with the Irony is still going? Uh, the feud with the I don't know until we get to Thunder. Okay, uh, I would say have them fight the tag champs. This is a great way for the flock to make their mark. Okay, and a non-title? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I saw the blue arrow, too. Yeah, we got a plus five alignment boost, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so remove the title. Remove title. And then... Uh, they could win or lose. That's the flock winning in their first outing would be cool. Yeah, I think that it would be fine for them to win. Um, well, that that looks good. I think Raven comes out, delivers a good promo against, uh, well, yeah, John Tenta, and then his guys are like, "Yes, we are very good." And then they prove it by by beating the tag champs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what else do we have? And you have the tag champs having just come off a really, a really like punishing trip uh, pay per view match, so they yeah. have, they have that. Uh, we've got the Hurricane. We've got Lonely Brian Christopher. Um, Actually, do you want to go ahead and repackage Brian Christopher? Into what? That's the thing. We have freedom. We have open ability. He's over, so we could just keep him with his current gimmick. Uh, so there's not necessarily a need to change him, but now that he's a singles talent. What are we going to do with it? Hmm. He's over, so we don't need to change his gimmick. Yeah. Um. I was going to say maybe just get him a win, but, like, who against? Um, I would say... Um, so, like... We're supposed to be building Matt up for the next feud. We are. Matt's neutral, so Brian could take the L. Could take the L there. Yeah, that's not so bad. Um, the other option is, and this would definitely be a match he would be losing, uh, but it would be a bump just to have him in the match. Uh, say what's booked is, you know, Hiroshi Tanahashi won at the pay-per-view, and he's in action tonight against Brian Christopher. And then it cuts to Dan Severn has beaten the absolute living bejesus out of Tanahashi off camera, and he just takes... Tanahashi's spot in the match and then kills Brian Christopher also. Okay, that's not a bad idea either. He gets Dan Severn. And on you're the probably card. right. He would probably get a bump from that. So, a sympathy bump because also Brian Christopher's sad. His friend's a vampire now. Friends of vampire got beat up by Dan Severn. What you going to do? So sad. Cuz I'm also looking into seeing if it might be possible, you know, lead up have Dan Severn beat up a few lower carters in this feud because 
once Hiroshi's done with him, I kind of want to put Dan in feuds with Laura Carters because he's kind of a diva, and I'd like to use that heat for something before he inevitably bails. Sure. Um, Eddie Guerrero won at the pay-per-view. We want to build up Matt Hardy. What if Hardy beats Guerrero, and then Mick comes out afterwards and does some kind of promo or something? Or an attack, even, if Mick is like, he's into it now. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay. Uh, that looks good. Yeah, and then segment for last so the, the one of the one of the after match things. Yeah. Uh, after match attack, is he gonna beat him up? Uh the all right. So my brain wants like Eddie uh, to. Matt gets the win, Eddie's upset, Eddie attacks Matt. Yeah, like gets a chair. Yeah. And then Mick comes in and saves him, but that's only two participants, so I don't know. That's fine. Uh, we'll figure it out. We're learning. This is a, this is a learning show. Oh, it's, you know what? No, we don't have to. Check it. It's just... Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll save figure it out. Mick we'll see, we'll is see what it says. Yeah. Is, saving, uh, is saving Matt Hardy from, from Eddie yeah. Guerrero. Um, or it'll say something different, and we'll just whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll, dis- we'll either disregard it or roll with it. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta roll with Sometimes it. Sometimes it's fun. Okay, who else do we have on the show? Show Funaki. Yeah, uh, Funaki and Ultimo Dragon mm-hmm. aren't up to much. Um, I, I like the idea of them fighting the tag champs better, but Millennium Dragons would also be fine. Um, We've also got the Hurricane. Hurricane, poor lonely Hurricane in the lower card. Yeah, man, we need a couple more wrestlers. Uh, I would say getting a Hurricane in a match with someone on the upper card, he doesn't have to win it, but, like, uh, what's his record right now? 2-0? and 2-0. Oh. So, like, he's on the come up. Maybe he gets a shot against Shofunaki or the Ultimate Warrior or the Ultimate, or the Ultimate Dragon and gets knocked down. Well, Dragon can is, is easily injured. So uh, You, you want to protect him? Anytime we can use Funaki over Ultimo, I, I'm more inclined to do so. Yeah, protect him a little bit. That's make, it makes sense. All right, and, uh, well, hey, let's do some production shit. Yeah, all right, let's, let's, is there new production shit? Ooh, I don't know. Um, return package, maybe, and then, of course, the custom packages. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff we don't have unlocked. That's cool. That's actually cool. It makes it feel like it, there's still progression, even though we've we've beat the competition into the earth. Um... Could go ahead and do the event package for next pay per view. Sure, get it get out, out of the way. Of the way we got yeah. segment. We got room. It's exciting. Um, and then one segment left. I'm I'm feeling comfortable. Uh, with like, there's that. not really much else to do. Uh, do no. we want to give somebody who's not on the card some? Promo oh yeah, room? just a promo. Yeah, I keep forgetting that's an option. Um, because we're so we didn't have those for so long. <laughs> Extra space. Yeah. yeah. Um. Is there anybody not on the card at all? Uh, other than people who were, like, injured? I don't think so. I think we got everyone. Nice. Then, uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Works for me. Alright, let's play this out. Let's go! Yay! And it leveled up. Good. Yeah, good. That's, I mean, it's it's finally gold. Yes. All right, so Funaki's taking this one here over the He's hurricane. got a worse record. A hurricane's a lower tier talent, but hopefully yeah. they'll have such a good match it'll put him over anyway. All right, let's do it. Not quite. No, not quite. It was an all right match. Yep, good match. That's fine. Raven walks away looking better here, right? Yeah, that's the idea. Oh, they loved it. They oh, fucking loved second. it. Holy Beautiful. shit, it's so hot. <laughs> okay. Um, the flock end up beating Farouk and Bradshaw. Yep. And it is non-title. Look, this is how you push a new a new trio. <laughs> okay. It was alright. It's not bad. They got some some heat out of it. Yep. Um Dan Severn beats the ever loving shit out of Hiroshi Tanahashi. Yes, just absolutely fucking annihilates him. They liked that. Yeah. Ooh, it, it boosted his gimmick. <laughs> the sympathy bumps, man. What are they? What are you gonna do? Dan Severn beats the ever-loving shit out of Brian Christopher. Yes. Cool. Didn't didn't negatively affect him too much. Kurt Angle's here for a promo. He's talking about uh, Chris Jericho. 
Good. Uh, this is a good show. He Everything's going his, well. His, oh, he put on a hot segment. Nice. He just gave Kurt Angle a microphone and let him roll. Uh, Eddie Guerrero and Matt Hardy. Matt gets the win. Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. That good one was, was, a, was a good enough match that they both got over. From. Hell yeah. That's what we're looking for here. Um, and the then, match is over. Mick Foley is yeah, winner. Yeah, click yeah, click Mick Foley. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, and it actually did what we wanted. Uh, fantastic. I'm really glad for that, and it was a good segment for having no fucking juice behind it. All right, Home Wreckers Inc. get a victory. Got to keep the feud going. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Good shit. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. And here's Chris Jericho to get his title. Bum, 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 bum. Chris Jericho is very cool. Look at this cool title he has. <laughs> All right. And, yeah, 46 creative points. Four-star show. Four-star show. Yeah, four-star show. Cool. A uh, thousand fans to Hardcore TV. Good for ECW. Okay. Now we do Thursday Night Thunder. On to Thunder. So, Destroy T DX is still going. Um, that one's going to wrap up, probably. Yeah, probably this month. We don't really have a lot of staleness for it. Uh, the Aaronese versus Farouk and Bradshaw is still going, so I'm glad we didn't try to start a new feud there. Um, not your place. We're ending here on the show with a promo. And then smarter than you. So we've got some feuds we could open up here. So, yeah, let's see let's, let's see what promos we have that are blow-offs. Um... Proven winner, moving on, mutual respect. I believe that is a face turn and blow off, but no. So one of those three. One of those first three. Yep. Uh, so how do we want to wrap this up? I believe uh, X-Pac and T and Co. won at the pay-per-view. Yes. Uh, proven winner would, uh, and mutual, proven winner would China basically being, acknowledging that, like, she gonna hold this L and then... <laughs> Uh, mutual respect is them that we're moving on are basically more and less uh, like bitter versions of the same thing I feel like yeah. so is it just the, the, they've the, like this clearly you don't want to hang clearly you don't want to be a part of DX anymore uh, clearly we don't want you here tearing each other apart of it is just preventing us both from focusing on our careers. I'm thinking like backstage segment, like ships passing in the night, maybe we can bookend it with matches for the two of them. Uh, X-Pac and China happen to meet, and she's like, so you're gone now, that's it. He's like, that's it. Got what you wanted. And then they... And then you got what you wanted. Happy? Yeah. And then they just pass. Yeah. All right, so let's do that. Um, and that will... Oh, that, wait, that's that's part inherently of a blow-off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's get a singles match for China here. Let's uh, get her a win. Look at her in our main event. Oh, I'm so happy for her. Um, she's a heel, right? Yep. She needs a face to beat up. El Samurai? What's he doing? Losing a lot. Um, yeah, anybody else below that is kind of shitty, though. Uh, It'd just be like reestablishing her, but it won't help her get over too much. Right. Well, we're not really sure what we're doing with her at this point. Trying to make her number as big as possible, same as everybody else. That's fair. That's fair. Um, is there someone higher up on the card she could beat? I guess Patriot. He's not doing anything. He's two and zero. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that'll be there. Let's get a nice tag match for the New Age Outsiders. God damn! What a good rib. Uh, what a good rib of a tag team name. Against. Well, I'd like to get him a victory, otherwise I'd say against uh, Mortis and Laparka. So... Why? What the hell is the 20 with Gangrel? It would be entertaining, I guess, for them to fight. No, know. that's a feud icon. Oh. That might be a potential feud. Maybe. Maybe, like, injured... One of those two injured Edge. Maybe... I, I think you might be right about that. Uh, Gangrel just got off of a feud with uh, that Sean that he didn't win. Yeah, maybe he could bump down. Uh, That's not bad. What is the feud potential there? Let me let me go check that out. Uh, potential feud. Yeah, Gangrel. Oh, Gangrel injured X Pac at some point. Interesting. Um, sure. Uh, 
I don't hate this idea. Yeah, fuck it. Um, so, so X Pac and, and Billy Gunn versus Gangrel, Gangrel and and uh, Christian probably. Yeah, right? yep, oh Christian. no! And the new member. Oh, but he just got here. <laughs> oh, that's true. That making him lose would be mm. bad. Well, the technically the feud is just X Pac and Gangrel. That's true. Do you want to so. just do X Pac and Gangrel? Well, let's just do X Pac and Christian for now, or uh, Gangrel and Christian as the tag team for now. We further solidify. Um, and and Scott outsiders. Taylor doesn't lose. Right, which and is Scott the Taylor idea. Doesn't lose. Yeah. Uh, Christian's about even, and he's on a slight losing streak, but oh, whatever. Injury revenge. Sounds good. Uh, Xbox, like, now the business is done. I'm I got some unfinished you. business with you. Yeah. <laughs> all Gangrel's right. all, I just got finished fighting DX. Nah, it's different. <laughs> I'm not with them anymore. It's a different DX. Uh, let's get these guys up against. Hmm. Nah, maybe we need to build them with promos. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um what's some what's some new promos? Let's get a tag team. Let's grab Bone Storm. God, Bone I forgot that was their Storm. name. Bone Storm, yes. Uh what is that? Just builds popularity? Yeah, just a backstage interview. It doesn't have to be hard. Yeah, explain the skeleton more. Yeah. Explain how you're going to destroy all the fleshy meat bags. Drop your deep lore on me. Yeah. Uh alright, our other feuds are Triple H and Stone Cold. Um, Stone Cold beat Triple H again. I believe you said you wanted to end this with a big Triple H victory. It seems since so, he's, Stone, been he's, taken he's, L he's been L. taken L after L, and the only other, the only way for Stone Cold to win this feud is to literally disband DX. That's his stated goal. He, he's not gonna do that. He's not gonna succeed unless we actually disband DX permanently. And I, I mean, like, no. <laughs> so let's just play with a bunch of these new buttons we have to push. Yeah, they're over. His just like for the whole. Cycle. Yeah, yeah, they don't need to fight. Fuck right, it. Tease it. All right, let's do it. That's probably going to be up the card a little bit here. I think it deserves to be, yeah. Um. All right, uh, I think that's... Is that our current... No, we don't no, have anything... we need for Phineas Godwin and Jeff Hardy. Uh. That's got to be mostly promos. Phineas isn't a good wrestler. Yeah, so... Oh, and we've also got the Aaronese versus Farouk and Bradshaw. Right. Um, well, they aren't quite over enough for us to use the the new buttons on. I want I want to really, get no. them over um, first. Yeah, let's get some lightning bolts here. Just a promo battle. Yeah, just just let Phineas fucking do mean say mean intelligent things about Jeff Hardy. Okay, and then the Aaronese versus Farouk and Bradshaw. Um, let's book the rest of the card. Uh, because I think that could be a good like attack segment. Yeah, but the I want to see the, the yeah, balance. but I want to I want to see if we can get more matches on here. All right. Um. Well, first off, Lita versus Medusa is over. Yes. Medusa needs a feud. Yes. Uh, we got Norman Smiley sitting right there. Yeah. Okay. He's TV title material. Yeah. Sure. Um. Start with a TV title defense. Yeah. That's how you start these feuds. All right. Uh. Just book it. Just book a match. And then add feud. Fuck it. Let's commit. Yeah. All right. Why not? Um, better wrestler, disrespect, grudge, and new challenger. The only ones here. I think this is probably or new or just new challenger. Yeah, or new challenger. It's even um, more inherently hype. Yeah. All right. Screw it. Not everything got to be complex. No, no, I want the TV title. Give, give. <laughs> uh, she's only been champ for two months, so he can't just take take. But no. But like, ooh, she's a heel. Yeah. What if she like ducks him? Like cheats doing this like and then count outs and shit like that, yeah. I mean we'll take we'll take L's on the batch ratings, but I'm okay with that. Well, we are very popular and can't afford to make mistakes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like that. I like that she just keeps ducking him. Alright. Um So then we've got We got Lita, who's well, not We got gonna... Vader needs well yeah, Lita. Lita's got stuff she could be doing. Um uh, but yeah, let's get something new for Vader. That's some wrestling we can get on the wrestling card. Yeah, have he... Vader beat somebody the fuck up. Let's just have him squash a motherfucker. Vader come back. Kill who? Uh, Ivory and Kane's over, right? Yep. Have him kill Kane. Did Kane win? Or not Ivory? Jacqueline. I'm sorry. No, Kane lost. Have him kill. Ja have him kill Jacqueline. Yeah, he's he's. Well, hold on. Vader's a face. Jackie, I believe, is a face. Mm, damn. Um, and I don't want to start squashing Kane. He's. We put too much work into him. Yeah, we did. Uh. Uh. Rock versus Gold Dust is over. Yeah, he could smush Gold Dust. His former. 
I mean, it'd be a great way to, to cement his new face loyalties. You know, Vader comes back. Oh, is the Golden Age of Grotesque going to reform? I think this is a feud, man. Yeah. Is the Golden Age of Grotesque going to reform? Vader's coming back. He's going to he's gonna be able to reinforce Gold Dust. Gold Dust has been kind of taking L's recently. He's like, oh, good. My friend's back. And then Vader eats him. <laughs> yeah, maybe even Fall from Grace. I know we just ran that with Gold Dust and Jeff Hardy, but that's not like it counts against us. And we could burn this feud up some more. Like, build it up, rather. So, like, after the initial match, we're like... Uh, it's good to see you back. Actually, uh, uh, this, like the someone comes with gold us. So Vader's back. Uh, oh, good. I'll, I'll be glad to see him. You know, he can we, he, tell him to come by. No, no. I'm telling you because you have a match against him. What? And then Vader kills him, and Gold Dust is like, "Who are you? you? You're a loser. You're a fat piece of shit. You, you're gonna come back and knock the hand that feeds you out of your face." I was kind of seeing it the other way around, right? So Goldust is kind of a comedy heel at this point. Yes. Um, so Vader comes back, smashes him. It's a surprise to... Goldust has a match. He's in the ring. Vader comes out, and he's like, oh, shit. The next week, we can do a segment where Goldust is like, hey, you know, I, I know you, you beat my ass last week, but it's good to see you back, pal. Yeah? When are you coming back? Like, that's why he's beating his ass? He's hey, like, what Well, he, he was in the ring with him. He, he didn't even... This wasn't a feud to start with. They had a match. It was just a match. But he got in there, he's like, I squashed you. It wasn't anything. You were the leader of the golden age of grotesque, and now who are you? You really like scorpions. I do really like scorpions. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's comedy gold. Yeah, do that. Let's put that up here. That's going to be big. That's good. Um, okay. Four segments left. Uh, hmm. I know what we want for the main event. We're finally going to Rock and Shawn Michaels, right? Yeah, that's the idea. Um, Kane should move on and do something else. Agreed. Hmm. Rest of the main event's kind of busy. <laughs> Luna? Well, Luna and Ivory are in a feud with Farouk and Bradshaw. True. Um, I'd love to see Kane and Stone Cold. Maybe we just let Kane float for a month. Yeah, I'd say let Kane float for a month. Right, I'm going to write that in our notes here. Kane versus Stone Cold. Yeah. Uh, next pay per view cycle Kane v. Stone Cold feud. Okay. Um, other than that, we've got kind of like the undercard around. So uh, we need a segment for. Kicking off HBK versus The Rock. Um, so, Shawn Michaels, The Rock. Yeah, they want to see it. you damn right they do. Feud. Uh, let's see here. Could just be a promo battle, honestly. Uh, this is not one you need to really overthink. Yeah, I don't think we need to overthink it. Add feud. <laughs> better cook? I'm sorry. That says better cook. That feud is who lays better pipe. I want you to know that. That is who fucks better. The feud. <laughs> That's not... I don't... <laughs> uh, I think this is a great place for a better wrestler feud. Like, these are two... Top fucking guy. greatest wrestler, honestly. They're both they, yeah, they qualify for it. Yeah. It's more hype. Let's do, it. do that. Um and that that'll probably close us out. Uh okay. So what do we've got? We've got three slots left. If we can get another match in here, um, we can work in a segment for the Aaronies attacking the the defeated Fruk and Bradshaw, trying to weaken them for an eventual title victory. Yeah, I like it. Which they may never get. I just you know, that's their that's their mindset. So, let's see what kind of uh, shit we've got here. Um, Kane is up to nothing, and he doesn't need to be in a feud. Um, El Samurai, we've got sitting around not doing anything. Uh, Steve Blackman, Jackie, Lita, like you said. I could just do uh, Lita and Jackie, you're both faces. Um, I wonder if he'll get mad at us. Just book it. It let's likes see what face happens. versus face. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just it do likes that. face versus face. It does, the only thing it doesn't like is heel versus heel. So, 
we'll put that there, and, and then, then we'll put the promo tag ambush between. promo. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ernie's versus freaking Bradshaw feud stuff. Um. New thing. Use yeah, a new thing. One of the new things. Uh, surprise attack. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Got to build them up, man. We got so many new things new to toys. build up, man. And then there's one left, and we're we're uh, historically fine with that. Yep, that's fine. All right. So the Bone Storm is is backstage. Oh yeah, yeah. It's good. It's better than it was. Yeah, look, it's he's building. He, he's a skeleton, and he's got to build it. But all right. So add finish. Um, count out. Uh, no title change. So Norman Smiley wins by count out because yes. she's just like, fuck you. And I don't think that even cost us anything. Some, yep. Some star, well, like half a star, but like, it who didn't... cares about that? This is this is a feud. And it's building up Norman Smiley. Yeah. Hell good. yeah, dude. Uh, okay. Now we've got this promo battle here. Oh, oh he's yeah. Starting to get over. Ah, oh, good. Do it. Do it, Phineas. Catchphrase showdown segment item unlocked. Phineas unlocked the catchphrase showdown just in time for Shawn Michaels versus The Rock. Oh my god, thank you, Phineas. Phineas, you fucking sweet child. The New Age Outsiders are winning this. Yeah, yeah, we need to keep building them up. Um, so the feud continues from here. The New Age Outsiders win. I'm thinking Gangrel is just kind of like, okay, so you beat me in a tag match, but you didn't beat me. I injured you. I'm better. I win. I'm still cool. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. Yeah. And then he does his little gang girl smile. Ooh, hot match. Beautiful. Great start for the yeah, feud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, started Sweet. with a, what, 48? That's not bad. Not bad That's not all. nothing. No. All right. Uh, X-Pac in China. Who wins? I don't know. Who ultimately wins this feud? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, China got what she wanted. Yeah. Um, China got what she wanted. Sure. She She won the feud. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. No. She wanted him out of DAX, and he's out of DX. She got what she wanted. China wins her match. Even though the Patriots got his great haircut, you know, it is what it is. Uh, here we've got this. The Aaronies are surprise attacking. Yes. Great. Great attack. Good stuff. Yeah. 100% um, effectiveness. This is just a match. Simulate. Doesn't Simulate. matter. Simulate. Who cares? This is just to get them on the card. Lita wins. Okay. Lita wins, lol. <laughs> uh, uh, Look, we. she's the Roman Reigns. She will shove her down your throat. You will like her. Um, fight tease. Um, let's have Triple H look good in this. Yeah, like like the actually cutting members of his roster off is like unleashed the king of kings. Like he he starts turning he starts going into like the Viking Lord mode. Yeah, yeah, he's mad. Um, Vader annihilate Gold Dust. Plenty of intensity. What a big result. No injuries. Good. We didn't, however, actually make it a squash match. No, no. because that's the goal. We're gonna put some respect on Gold Dust's yeah, name. Yeah, Come yeah. on. That started at 119. Oh, yeah, man. They won it. It was a hot segment. That started over 100. <laughs> Good shit. What was the show? The show was 57. 57. Almost four, five four stars. Third, yeah. yeah, four and a quarter. Nice. And this is against other shit, so whatever. Um, all right, continuing on. To the book. Um, all right. So, this week, on Monday Night Raw, um, hmm. Just a forest of orange numbers. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I'd like to get Foley and Guerrero a little higher. Give them a promo. Okay, yeah, they're both really good on the mic. Um, some lightning bolts, uh, off-camera assault. That's got eight lightning bolts. We just did that one last week. Oh, we did. We did. You're right. If you're comfortable doing it twice, we got a whole bunch of shit to play. Yeah, we do. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Catchphrase showdown. Mick Foley and Eddie Guerrero aren't as iconic. Mick Foley is, but Eddie Guerrero doesn't Why have... Why cheat and steal? Viva la raza. Uh, you know what? Mama Cita. Fuck it. Do it. You want to get him over? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. There you go, boys. 
It requires they be over in the first place, so, you know. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have mercy. Bang, bang. Mentioning the name of the show, the place he's in. <laughs> Getting his special dick sock out. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I just had a thought. So, again, to carry on the feud, and I love these. I do. Uh, let me get singles here. Let's get to John Tenta. Okay. Um, oh, that's not what I meant. Singles there. And then having to do a, a solo feud promo? Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are great because... You want if you you want to do something else with Raven this week? Yes, because we can do this. He can keep up the feud, and then Raven can do go. He can go to trios match. Oh, mm, mm, you love it. You love yeah, to see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, oh, quick feud that'll help. Solo feud promo. Feud present booked. Cool. So then we can do a three on three with Raven, with Raven, Vampiro, and Pierre Ulay against um, Millennium Dragons and somebody. Let's see. What's Hurricane's record? 2-1. Brian Christopher. Uh, I say Millennium Dragons and somebody. It's yeah. the natural pers- people. Show Funaki, Ultimo Dragon. And, I mean, I know he's busy with another feud, but the natural teammate there is probably Liger. Or Tanahashi. Or Tanahashi. And that can make sense because he's been getting his ass kicked by Dan Severn so much. He's a little like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Booked. Plus, that's going to be just a solid match. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, our other feuds. Liger v. Sable. Um, fully. Oh, we got that one. Yeah. Uh, Owen Hart and Godfather. Jericho and Kurt Angle. Okay. It's like we had more feuds than this. Is there a tag team feud I'm forgetting? No. No, because the tag champs are on the other show. Right. I just I thought when we booked this just a minute ago, we had more feuds. We than this. ended one of them. No, that was the other show. I yeah. have no idea. What? Weird. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, something fun with Jericho and Angle. We could probably get a promo out of this, right? Yeah. Um, feud. New toy. <laughs> yeah, one of the new toys. Um, split interview. That's not bad. Uh. I don't think Angle is going to be on the offensive in, like, the, the strong way. No, So, no. let's go with split interview. Let's build this a little bit more. He's mad, but he's going to be the the bigger man. Yeah, he's like, I, look, Chris won that match. He didn't cheat. He just won. I want a rematch. I, I, I believe I deserve a rematch. I held the title for almost seven months, but that night he was the better man. I believe... Given another chance, I can be the better man. Okay. Um, Chris Jericho. Oh, you believe that, do you? Is is and what we're we're booking the wrestling federation based on your beliefs now. <laughs> how about how about I go fight someone who actually has a winning record? How about that? Sounds good to me. <laughs> not for the title, Danny. No, not for the title. Um that's gonna get a negative. That's two heels. Oh, it is two heels. You're absolutely right. Um, I'm fine with that negative, but... <clears throat> well, and I was thinking of a, uh, a shitty Jericho finish, cheating to win or something, so that might be harmful. Ooh, or we could continue to build big money Matt, and Matt surprises him with a win. Yeah, Matt has a winning record. Okay, yeah. Um, How about I fight someone with a, with a winning record? Someone I can trust. About- and that's the crowd is kind of onto it because he's like Matt Hardy, and they're like, "Yeah, Matt's good, but is he world title good?" And then Matt Hardy pulls a fast one, like a roll up or something. Uh, still remove title. I, and like Kurt's not a chicanery face, so it's not like Kurt comes out and distracts him. No, Matt Hardy just grabs a win. All right, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, all right, uh, what's next? What do we, what do we have on the card? Um, actual feud stuff for Dan Severn and, uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Post-match beatdown. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, Tanahashi has his match. After the match, Dan Severn comes out and Like, eats he's it. not having a bad enough day. Because <laughs> the flock's winning, I assume, right? Yes, yes. Oh, definitely. oh, that's a great moment. That's a great moment. So, Funaki, Ultimo Dragon, and Tanahashi 
are in a match against the flock. The flock wins, right? Yeah. Uh, and, like, Dragon and Funaki are out. They're, like, out on the outside of the ring. They're knocked out. Tanahashi's the one who takes the fall. He's in the ring. And the flock, like, surrounds him. And then Dan's music hits. And he comes out and, like, walks into the ring and says, he's mine. And they just back off. Sure. Yeah, they <laughs> leave. Raven's the last one to leave. And he just kind of watches with the title on his shoulder. Watches Severn. I like it. I, I like, like it a lot. Gives him, gives him the old, like, polite bow after you sort of thing. Um... Okay, this is, uh, we could do something here, I think, with a promo. Um, let's see. Backstage confrontation. Yes, please leave me alone, miss. Yes. I beat you in several wrestling matches now. Please, get it through your head. I'm just not that into you. And then she's like, do you think that's what this is about? How could I think anything else? <laughs> Explain to me what it is about. Oh, I'll explain. Oh, you'll get an explanation. And then she walks away, and he's just fucking baffled. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Owen Hart and Godfather. How do we want to run this? You got a lot of promos. Yeah, we do. That could just be a match. Just have them fight again? I don't see a reason not to. They're not like a. It's not like we need to protect Owen Hart versus The Godfather, you know? Yeah, that's true. They've definitely wrestled a bunch already. Um, what if we got. Someone could use a win. Brian Christopher could use a win. Brian Christopher could use a win. Um. I don't know who the hell else he would fight besides the Hurricane. Who's not busy with other shit? Yeah. Yeah. And having him beat the Hurricane doesn't do anything for him. He's, he's lower yeah. on the card. We're going to have to be willing to have Brian Christopher beat a main eventer at some point if we want to build him up at all. Yeah, there's just not really anybody... Who's not busy? We could split it up. Uh, do, instead of Godfather versus Owen Hart, do Godfather versus Brian Christopher and Owen Hart versus... Uh, Hurricane and have them both lose we've done that gimmick before here's an idea hold on a second oh I actually I don't want to I don't want Owen Hart to be losing to the Hurricane right now because we're building Owen too like Owen is eventually going to be in the title scene um, maybe have one uh, it's just having Hurricane be in a match with one of the main eventers just to lose is basically ro like we did last week rolling the dice on a five star match and it didn't work last week, so I'm a little reluctant to do it again, you know? So, add manager for Brian Christopher, Owen Hart. So, this is not actually anything other than the Godfather has got a match. Maybe, let's see what happened. Owen beat him at the pay-per-view. Um, they had their tag match last week, and Godfather's like, whatever, it's done. I proved my point. Sable and I whooped their asses. This is over with. Uh, he's got his match against Brian Christopher. He's like, good, a nice easy victory for me, the Godfather. And then Owen Hart comes out with Brian Christopher. And through grit, determination, and encouragement. And, and like, the coaching of Owen Hart. Yeah. Like, I like the idea of making it specific, like, no, 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 like, Owen Hart coaching him. Like, when when he's like, he's got yeah. Godfather down, he's like, all right, now he's, he, he, no, he's playing possum. You watch out. I know this guy. He's playing possum. And then Brian Christopher's like, oh, I, he, like, believes him. And, like, waits, and then the Godfather eventually, like, looks up and goes, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't say the feuds on there. I'm not that worried about it. Eh, if it's not, it's not. It's Whatever. Not. It's a good check. Yeah, it's To see it's if fun. they'll account for it. Okay. Um, Hurricane. Ah, God, we got so many fucking promos. Uh, oh, here's an idea. We've got guys that are on this card that aren't doing shit. Um, True. True. Just get, uh, well, Matt Hardy versus Chris Jericho we've got. What about Kurt Angle versus, oh, he already had that feud with Eddie. That's not great. No. Um, face versus face doesn't usually go over so bad. Could do Mick Foley. Hey, Kurt versus Mick isn't a terrible thing. Eh, 10 alignment boost. That's a little much. 
Yeah, that is a little much. What about Kurt Angle versus Liger? Five alignment boost. That's not as bad. I can live with five. Yeah. Just put that here, Rish. Uh, well, heck, we could probably put this earlier in the show. So... Yeah. Alright, can we get the Hurricane a win against literally anyone on this card? Uh, Farouk's got a better record if just after being beaten down, Hurricane manages to scrape a victory. We could say the Aranese help with that if we want. That's up to you. Uh, I like the idea. I, I don't. I don't know who else we could put him against. Sable but... is the only other one I could think of. Yeah, that's not bad. Hurricane versus Sable. Like she's yeah. so frazzled by the confrontation with Liger that she that Hurricane just manages to snooch it from her. Okay. Or she already comes in frazzled, having lost to the fucking Hurricane. Sure. <laughs> I like that. Um, we're left with two segments. Is there anything else we want to book? No, I think we got most of the yeah, people I on the card in some fashion. Let's do it. All right. Starting the show pretty strong. It's a new thing, so that's hundred percent effective. Yeah, yeah. It was, we're, look, we're, they only have they only get gold if we get them there. All right, Hurricane gets a surprise victory. The crowd is well, they like Hurricane. Yeah, and that's <laughs> what we were trying to do. That's that's the idea. John Tent is like, I'm never gonna stop. I'm John Tenna. Uh, the flock wins. Lol. Nobody's in here. they got over. Oh, gorgeous. Beer got over. <laughs> he um, can do promos now. Cool. Uh, Dan Severn beats the crap out of Hiroshi Tanahashi. Everyone loves it when that this, happens. This, uh, like, without having him lose too many matches. <laughs> uh, hold on. So when they lost the match, his, his gimmick declined. But then Dan, Dan Severn kicked the shit out of him. And his gimmick improved. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the beatings will continue until your gimmick improves. All right. Uh, Brian Christopher takes the win here thanks to the coaching of Owen Hart. Um, did nothing on the feud. So big, whatever. big fucking win for Brian Christopher, yeah, though. Yeah. Um, the confrontation between the two of them. Uh, I think because Sable had the loss earlier, maybe. Yeah, we'll uh, maybe. I, I feel like, well, she, she, she won. They yeah. won the tag match, but like. I like the idea of her coming out looking better here just because she's fucking crazy. Sure. <laughs> and she lost earlier tonight, so. At the same time, Liger is less over. That's true. Liger's less over. Yeah, all right. Fuck it. Let's have Liger do it. All right. Seems like a pretty decent call. It's not going to hurt Sable at all. No, it did not. Um, Kurt Angle probably gets the victory here over Liger. Yeah. So that, that stands pretty good. I'm glad we did that. I had forgotten that. Um, fire and match. And he got more out of that than, or at least the same out of that that he lost Angle, so it ended up being even. All right. Oh. Oh, they loved that. They loved that. Feud finally got hot. Yeah, if we let them just do their catchphrase, fucking catch Hell lineoramas, yeah. everybody loved it. Brand new thing, five star segment. Hell yeah. Matt Hardy sneaks a win over Chris Jericho. Um, a lot of surprise wins tonight. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you gotta tune in to. Everything, anything might happen. Monday Night Raw, you know. Alright, and that's the show. 57, yeah, good show. As good as Thunder. Okay. Ooh, 400 fans up for ECW. ECW doing a steady Can climb. I just can I just say Project Wrestling is almost at 100,000. Like these guys are also nice. above. They're at 150. They're not putting up terrible numbers. No, no, We're no. We're just the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One more show before the end of this episode. Let's get to booking. Um again, we're just playing with new shit here. So we did the uh, fight tease. Yeah, uh, it's already held, so yeah. there we go. Let's do backstage confrontation. Yeah, there we go. Good. Um. <sighs> this this card is stacked with feuds, so let's just book our feuds. Yeah. And... 
Bunch Shawn of Michaels sh- versus The Rock. That could be some more promo happening. Yeah, this is a fight I do actually want to protect. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's always good to do smack talk. Let's make The Rock look good. Because he is The Rock. It's not orange yet. <laughs> could be orange. Yeah, it could be orange. Like Phineas High Godwood versus Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay, this is when we need to do that promo for Vader and Gold Dust. Where, where they're like, what happened to you? I ate your lunch. I shouldn't be able to do that. I used to respect you. I took orders from you. I leave and you f- and you become a clown. No, oh, that's actually a good line. I leave. I left and look what happened. You always wore faceplate, but now you're a clown. Yeah, that's good. Um. Okay. Uh. Um. Let's get some wrestling. What yep. can be a wrestling match? What can be a wrestling match? Um. Okay. 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 I think we could put Phineas I. Goblin and Jeff Hardy in a wrestling yeah, match. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. And here's how I'm going to suggest this. Okay. Uh, we get Phineas Godwin. Okay. Okay. We get uh, Gangrel. Oh, all right. And we get their hot new member Scott Taylor against Jeff Hardy. Uh, Billy Gunn and X Pac, and the vampires and Phineas win here. They they get their win back because they got that new powerful vampire yes. Scott Taylor. Scott Taylor is young and full of vampire thirst. Whereas Christian is just like a weird wizard. <laughs> yeah, he's just their wizard friend. Every vampire has a wizard friend. It is known. Um. Raven is uh, Vampiro's wizard friend. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Pierre Houlet is just a scary guy they know. Or Paul Ellering, maybe. Paul Ellering gives uh, old wizard vibes. I, I, I yeah, that's true. That's fair. Um, I feel like we need to be building more skeleton more stuff. So either have them in a promo or have them well, win a match. Is there a match they can win? Duh. Not really. Everybody else is more built than them, but the only way they win is if they win. So... Ooh. 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 Ooh, baby, uh... What were you thinking? I was thinking the Aaron East and Farouk and Bradshaw and Bonestorm. Bonestorm get a surprise win because the other two teams can't... Won't look away from each other. Are too hyper-focused. 2v2v2, two two two, let's do it. it. Well, what was your idea? Maybe it's better. Uh, mine was just Aaron East versus Bonestorm. Yours is better. Oh, okay. Okay, um, Luna and Ivory, and Laparca and Mortis. There's some tiredness there, but who cares? Not for the titles. No. Move title. They haven't been ta- champions. Well, no, they have been champions. No, that's one month. So, Farouk and Bradshaw certainly haven't been champions long enough to lose them to Bone Storm. No. And Bone Storm aren't ready to carry those straps anyway. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. That's a cool fucking match, so I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like it too. Um, what what else isn't on the card? Uh, feud wise, we've got Medusa versus Norman Smiley, and I believe that's it. Uh, then let's make that. I know we have a lot of promos already, but let's make that a promo. Yeah, I think that's safe. Because she's not gonna fight him again. She no. won. I beat you. I got. The, I have the title. I won the match. I have the title. I win. You know what? <laughs> um, let's have that promo, and then Medusa beats someone else. I like that. <coughs> uh, so demand title shot maybe. Uh, ultimately, Smiley's not going to be winning any future title shots unless this feud goes on for months. So right. So uh, it's a promo battle. Um... New toy. It's a little old. I think maybe something that's gold star because it's only thirty seven. It needs a little juice. Okay. Can I organize it by? What is that called? Experience. No. No, that's okay. Um, so promo battle, fight. Um, we've got backstage, backstage attack, attack, promo, promo ambush, ambush. Contract, not contract signing. Unlikely, Unlikely partners. Not. Smack talk. Smack talk's not bad. Yeah, and have Norman Smiley get over. Yeah, and then we'll have Medusa win, and that'll oh, get a her match, over. Yeah. yeah. So. Medusa defends her t- TV title against someone higher mm. on the card than her. 
Uh, she's a heel. Blackman? Blackman. Blackman. Cool. All right. She'll defend the title. Then Norman Smiley comes out and is like, all right, and I'm next. No. <laughs> you had your shot. You didn't close. This title's for closers. <laughs> <laughs> What a, what a shitty heel thing to say. You're not a closer. I'm sorry. Uh, let's also get Christian a victory. Um, hmm. I, I, I'll say I'm Ryan Patriot. It's kind of what I'm looking at there. I'd say do a heel. Do a heel? Okay. Well, I think the only one we've got is like Kane. Or China, I guess. China wouldn't be too bad. China's 2-0. Have her beat, have her beat China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Um, hmm, there is. All right. Uh, what else we got going on here? Lance Storm, Lita, El Samurai, Patriot, and Kane are the ones not on the card. So, Kane is floating. Mm -hmm. You've been, like, I understand wanting to protect him because, you know. He's not doing anything. Having him lose a bunch of matches sure. to random faces isn't great. Is there someone we can get him a win on so he has a winning record? So that we're he's more able to be utilized openly there. Is there a face he could beat? Not above him, unfortunately. Unless we haven't beat Stone Cold. But, like... That's fodder for a future feud, I suppose. But, like, it does kind of come out of nowhere. Yeah, and we have a couple sh ma sh just matches out of nowhere tonight, so. Yeah. Um, unless, like, Triple H interfered. That would build a storyline. That would build a storyline. And we've discovered that, that, that it actually that actually works. It connects. Right, it. I believe so, yeah. Which, I mean, they've already got a confrontation. That's fine. But, you know, we've got four segments here. I don't hate that. I don't hate the Triple H interference. And the yeah. crowd really wants it. So let's do it. All right. Um, that goes up. Yeah. yeah and, and they have a backstage confrontation, and Triple H is like, hey, you got a match against Kane, right? Watch your back out there. <laughs> the hell does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. Um, I wish we had a little heel to throw in with Lance Storm. You could do Jackie and Lita, and they could get a nice victory there. There's not really a heel who's not busy. Yeah. We need roster members, homie. We do. Um, well, I like... Do we need them, need them? No. No, I mean, we've got like 10 segments going. Like, it's just we have so much space on the car. Right. It just feels like a waste not to use it. Uh, maybe that's why we're so good. Because we, we keep using all the I tell you segments. what. Who's, who's someone we could really... Who could really use a promo? Let's... That's kind of what I was thinking. Because um, we got lots of wrestling on this. Sure, it might be a little promo heavy, but we got lots of wrestling. Yeah, we do. We've got a space for a promo right there. So, uh, what's... Oh, Game Theory. Um, Triple H is already in a thing tonight. He's Two a lot things, of stuff actually. tonight. That's true. I don't want to make it the Triple H show. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, what are the other options here? And we've got all our feuds, don't we? Oh, yeah, we got we got the feuds. I mean, I'll double check before we finalize, but... Then, yeah, there's not really a need for that, I don't think. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, that's only one participant. Ah, confrontation, that's not what I was looking for. I was thinking if there's a way to get Lita and Jackie on the, uh, in one promo. Not necessarily as a feud, but just sort of... Cha Ooh, handicap beatdown. No, We've no. used that before, but I forgot about that. Uh, maybe they could desecrate a grave together. <laughs> Yeah, nothing really that, like, isn't having them fight. Besides, uh, is there someone not on the card who could do, like, a spirited promo or a heel promo? Um, so everyone not on the card is... And let me, let me go ahead and check our feuds right now. Greatest Wrestler, Fall From Grace, um, Brand Loyalty... Which is what this is. Yeah. Uh, Destroy DX. Injury Revenge, Smarter Than You, and New Channel. Yeah, that's everything. 
Um, cool. So everyone not on the card right now is the Patriot, El Samurai, Jackie, Lita, and Lance Storm. Um, any of those can do a promo? Yeah, I suppose so. Lance Storm can come out and be very upsetting. Um, Lita could come out and be very winning. Or Jackie yeah. could do that. Or El Samurai could do that. Oh, Lance Storm can eat a loss. Yeah, he's 2-0. Fuck yeah, him. I didn't just haven't mean to beat him. All right. Uh, who needs it more? Jackie. She's got the worst Jackie, record. Jackie, yeah. I think that they literally fought last week, though. Didn't they? Didn't Jackie lose to somebody? I don't remember that, no. Hmm, okay. Um, <coughs> sounds good to me, then. Uh, singles match. Uh, Lance Storm and Jackie. Booked. Um, I can go there. Segment. Uh, singles. We'll have Lita come out and talk about how great she is. Just a spirited ass promo. Uh, book. Almost gold. Um, That's a fine place for that. Sure. And uh, was, I know he's already on the show. Okay. But I wouldn't mind grinding this up. In different promo from Christian. I mean, yeah, his gimmick's got to get over somehow right after he wins. Nah, before. I mean, maybe he comes out and he's like... Yeah. yeah, he, like, delivers, like, a weird, like, old school, like, Aleister Black, like, just yeah. weird occult guy with, like, a big tome of, of some bullshit, and he says some spooky bullshit and then beats up China. Sure. Uh, okay. Making sure everything's good. Yeah, it looks good. Let's play this. All right. So Lance Storm is getting a win here. Yeah. Kaboom. That was a fine contest. It was a wrestling match. It happened. Yes. Lita's here. Everybody likes that. Yeah. <laughs> we got her over. Uh, Medusa gets a dominant victory here. Yes. Well, not necessarily Medusa dominant. Medusa gets but... a victory. Oh, Medusa's starting, starting, starting it over. Cool. Nice. Um, Bad match, but it still worked. So... <laughs> Norman Smiley gets over in the promo. Oh, shit. I did not mean to book that as smack talk. Because that's what HBK and The Rock are doing. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, we'll take a hit with the bigger one. Uh, Norman Smiley gets over, right? Yeah. You said? Ooh. That did not do well. What is Norman Smiley? He's got two charisma. 25% efficiency. What is this? I they just bumped, they just they just fumbled it, man. He just fumbled the bag. I guess. Damn. Alright, whatever. Uh these guys are winning because Scott Taylor's a new vampire. Yeah. Alright, we're we're pulling it over here. Hey, we're allowed to make mistakes. Look, that's just dice. He yeah. just fumbled the bag. It happens. Um Christian wins, lol. Right? Christian wins, lol. Cool. Um this is happening. This this promo is confrontation. They Great. love that. Good, Good shit. Glad to see it. Uh, Bone Storm wins out of nowhere. Stop and start action. Okay. Got them over. It got the some points for the feud. Triple H looks good against Stone Cold, right? Yes. Cool. Hundred percent efficiency. It may, you know, makes Hot it segment. makes it clear that he's like got a plan. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay, this is where we add a finish. Add a finish. Interference uh, DQ is is what this would be. It would be DQ. Um. Distraction maybe. Distraction, yeah. Let's do distraction. Interfering. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Triple H and Kane wins. Kane wins. This was his plan. Yes. And it, it tied it in. Nice. Yeah. So that that's actually a little better for the feud instead of Triple H just coming out and fucking donking Stone Cold. It's Stone Cold. Triple H is trying to prove the point that you know Stone Cold is obsessed with him in some way. You can't take your eyes off me, kind of thing. Not in like a you know. Not not in a weird sex way. Just in like a, you know, you got a match against Kane tonight. I I know you got like a weird, you got a weird obsession with me, but you maybe want to focus on your opponent, friend. Yeah. Kane's a Kane's a big guy. Kane's a, uh, a legitimate threat. All that happens is H's music hits and he walks out drinking some water, 
but he happens to be in wrestling gear, so Stone Cold is like, oh, he's coming to get me. Come on, he like does the, yeah. he does the come get me hands. He doesn't and even then, leave the stage. And then, and like, Triple H just shrugs and points and turns, Stone Cold <laughs> turns around into a choke slam. Hell yeah, all right. Cool, I like how that went out. Um, and then, it's gonna hurt, but let's get The Rock another uh, build up here. This is his first win. Yeah. I should say. I'm sorry that we, yeah, lost some nonsense from that, but... Especially because the other one didn't go well. Yeah, it was just a complete accident. I meant to book something completely different down here. Um, I, I just that's my fault. I'm the mouse man. That's okay. We'll recover from it. Yeah, it's not. It a was deal. still a three and a half star show. Oh no! Not a great thunder. Not a great thunder. Too many wizards. We lost fans. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We did two of the same promo, which apparently the game does not like. And, or maybe that we have already held Smack Talk for that feud? I didn't think so. No, it, it was because it was in, earlier in the night. At the event or in the feud. It's, yeah. it's the same so, thing. Uh, and then that one was a fumble of like the lowest rating wow. we've had in a long time. Oh well. Yeah. It's alright, we'll recover from it. Um, but uh, that is the end of this episode. This episode of what? 